Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Jeff Sangpil with Key Code Media. I'm the chief technologist here, and we're here to talk about remote editorial options that are available out there to everybody. First of all, there's remote control. Then there's the edit available in the cloud. And then there's project consolidation to hard drives. And then editing with pro proxy editing, perhaps with a direct push-pull from your facility. So on the remote control side, there's a few solutions out there, some that are OK, some that are not so great. Um, First one is uh, we've been having a lot of success with is a remote control via VPN. If you're using a um, something like TeamViewer or uh, LogMeIn, these tools are designed for IT support, so they're not really made for remote editorial options. So there are a number of solutions out there that uh, will do the trick. Teradici, uh, HP RGS. So the good on remote control is generally it's affordable. Uh, there's prograde collaboration over your VPN. There's multi-display support if you need it, and it uses your existing hardware. The bad is it's dependent upon internet speed. If everybody starts watching Netflix in the back of the house, you could have less than optimal solution. It's going to require IT to set up your VPN, and full frame rate is not supported in the Mac OS on the sender side. So you will have to, for an editorial solution, cross over to Windows temporarily. So what we're looking at here is it's available on the Windows OS. It's available all, on all NLEs, except for Final Cut Pro X. That's only on the Mac side. So editing in the cloud, it's where you upload all your media to the cloud and begin to edit there. A lift and shift workflow. There are a number of options out there, like Bebop and some others. Uh, there are a number of issues there that can pop up. Uh, the good side is it's a full cloud-based workflow. Everything's up there. Everything's able to work. People are able to collaborate. Um, so you're able to do online editing, uh, collaboration on your projects, real-time client review or over-the-shoulder watching an editorial uh, piece in action. Uh, there's very, very detailed permission and profile settings. Um, the bad, some NLEs require a prop, uh, proprietary solution. And your cloud storage costs are metered. And again, the sender is going to have to be a PC. You cannot virtualize the Mac OS. So this will be under Windows OS or Linux if you're running something like Resolve. Um, so NLEs, Adobe and Resolve work fine in this sort of edit in the cloud piece. So the other piece is project consolidation to hard drives. Take home proxy media on your hard drive. So the simple way to do that is, oh, like, shoot, let's consolidate everything. Grab your system, take it home. You've got your media. You've got your system. Off you go. So be, that's the piece where you're simply putting everything on the hard drive and then taking it home. Uh, the neat thing about Nomad, which we're going to be talking about in just a bit, is it handles that front end, uh, front end loading of the projects you need. So the good piece on, on that workflow is it's plug and play for editors at home. There's no need for an editor to have to use new software or a new platform. You take your edit bay from work home. Um, the bad issues you can run into, sometimes there's some user error, relink re issues to local media, get to move stuff around to get it to come online. Uh, sometimes you need staff to be on site to get everything loaded up and to continue to feed the machine. Uh, you may not have all of your materials with you for the next show. Um, the editor is still going to have to pick up and drop off a hard drive. Workflow is semi-collaborative because you've got, um, you're not actually working on your shared project necessarily, so you can run into some issues. Good thing there also is, you know, Windows and Mac, whatever the machine is, whatever the NLE is, it'll work. So the other piece that you can run into is a proxy edit, which is a direct push-pull from the facility. So it's the same sort of concept as loading everything to a drive. It's just you're using your VPN to collect everything on the facility side, put it somewhere, and then move it to home via the VPN. So virtually uh, creating that drive push. So that's where you got your facility and you got the fun arrow that goes into share browser that collects everything. Nomad, uh, Nomad, Nomad collects everything. Share browser does it. And then it's able to push down to your house and then you get to work. So the good on that, <clears throat> you can access all your facility media via the browser. Proxy files are small, not that much overhead to move stuff around. You can take your edit bay from home, you know, from work to home. Um, very, very low internet requirements at home. You can do your downloads of material and off hours when the kids aren't watching, you know, Netflix or attending school. 
Um, the bad can be it's craft editing only. It's proxy, so you're not necessarily going to finish in that workflow. Uh, Steve will talk about some finishing options as well. Um, relinking to high res will require some training on the part of personnel. OS, Windows, Mac, not a problem. Any NLE, not a problem. Hey, Keycode Media followers, thanks for watching this presentation on remote editing workflows. Feel free to send your questions in the comments section or contact us on the Keycode Media website. And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll keep sending you more content just like this one. As a reminder, Keycode Media is your number one resource for all AV, broadcast, and post production equipment and services. When you work with Keycode Media, you know your equipment is going to be set up, you know it's going to work, and you know if anything goes wrong, we have your back. Thanks for watching.